I believe. That would give away a million dollars in a single video. I just it was not a happy childhood. How much money that was. That would be like, is that more than a hundred bucks? I mean, fifty dollars was a lot. When I was, I don't know, five or six or something. I thought I was insane. I just from a Why did you think you were insane? Small town because in Carolina, it was fair that other people did not. With my brother, with their mind wasn't exploding with ideas all so, the time. Nothing too crazy. They I weren't expressing it. They weren't talking about it all day. And you realize by the time you were five or six, like, oh, they're probably not even getting this thing that I'm getting. It just consumed my life. My first instance of that was probably it was like, baseball. I didn't hmm. want to do anything else. I'm strange. My first time going on the baseball field for a Little League practice was just the most awkward thing ever. Like, Wait, I didn't my lack of ordering, ordering us did not manifest itself it. until later in life. It wasn't all that obvious. It's impossible. Did you feel diminished by it in any way? Like knowing that this is a weird thing that you really probably couldn't commiserate with with other people? They, they wouldn't understand you. I hope they wouldn't find out because they might like put me away with something. You thought that for a second, yes. When you were little. Like when you were little, you thought this? Yes. Wow. Like you thought this is so radically different than the people that are around me. If they find out I got the stream coming in. Yeah. Because then from that point, I was like, oh, like, I kind of want to do this. You know, I was only like five or six, so. Isn't beautiful? Like, what is it like? I try to explain it to a dumb person like me. I was like 14, 15 on YouTube. It's like a never ending explosion. When I was 15 years old, I got diagnosed with Crohn's. Never ending explosion. It's just constant ideas. Just bouncing around. So when everybody leaves, it's just Elon sitting at home, brushing his teeth, just a bunch of ideas bouncing around your head. Yeah. All the time. I was always sort of really uh, interested in reading when I was a kid, um, and I read everything that I could get my hands on. I read the encyclopedia. I read every book. Um, Let's see, probably age nine or ten. Okay. Um, I, I, well, not that I actually wanted to read the encyclopedia, but I ran out of things to read, so in desperation, I read the encyclopedia. I was like, all right. You just really wanted to learn. So in the early stage, you had that, and you had that inner drive yourself. Yeah. Uh, well, I just, I just sort of, I, I got bored easily, and so unless I was doing something um, like reading or uh, playing a video game or watching TV. I was like, you know, like, I don't like talking to people, but... So I how did you really decide like to leave your home and realize your dream? You're not so like, American. So, uh, I mean, I should say that, you know, when I was a kid, I, I didn't really have any grand designs. I mean, but the reason I started programming computers was because I like computer games. Um, and I play lots of computer games, and um, I learned that if I wrote software and sold it, then I could get more money and buy better computers. So it wasn't really, you know, with some grand vision or anything. I also read a lot of the philosophers and uh, religious texts and that kind of thing, and a lot of uh, a lot of non-fiction as well, like the encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. um, and um, Every night in fact, I remember it when I was uh, just in um, like I'm not elementary school, I was reading about Bionic Engines. And I thought like, they were super cool. Um, and now we're launching satellites with Bionic Engines. I, I think on like Wikipedia it says that I was inspired like, uh, by my father in terms of technology. This is not the, this is actually not true. I think it needs to be corrected. <laughs> Um, he's somewhat of a Luddite, actually, um, in, in many respects, particularly computers. Uh, he didn't want to buy a computer, refused to use computers, and said they would never amount to anything. Um, so I actually had to buy a computer that saved up, you know, saved up my allowance. And, um, and they did contribute a bit after I saved up my allowance, but he initially refused to buy a computer for me. Um, but, but he was an engineer, um, electrical and mechanical engineer, so I was exposed to technical uh, subjects when I was growing up. I just stopped going um, to classes. It, it's just that he wasn't much of a technologist. And I would film videos Your son, Elon, has potential that uh, uh, has never been seen in a lot of ways. At harder, what point, in, as you were like, raising like him, did you think well, there might be something different about this little so, like, boy? In that first month from the college, age of three, really, I I just, he just reasoned with me so well, and I didn't know how he could figure out things. I mean, he was three. And then I sent him to school early, because he, and they said, you can't see him yeah, as the really youngest person in the class. And I said, he, he really needs other stimulation as well.
and, uh, honest, no one on YouTube and has ever the nice thing is that, that he stupid. took what he could do and hours. actually implemented it. Many genius kids, one, they, they two, stay in a basement because they can't actually, you know, move ahead. Move it's one ahead of my first, like, that. real Meaning also an escape kind of or rescue like, to you oh, as, like, a, as a boy in school. Yeah. Yeah. I learned that you, you are kind of the youngest in the class and you yeah. rule it sometimes. So what I was reading to you at that time. Well, this is, of course, back in the days before the video games and TV wasn't very good either. So... And, and uh, I was actually for quite a while the youngest you know and I mean? the smallest mm -hmm. uh, in the class. Um, right, so and uh, this is where things get fun. So my and my parents moved a lot, so I went through six different schools. So it's difficult to play with your friends, and then one year, and then you'd be in a new uh, school the next. Like, so hey, we'll give you $5, um, for a video, which books certainly was were something time, that uh, make a video, and I, I, I found comforting, and I would read all the time, just all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I want $10,000. And he's like, $5,000. I'm like, no, I want $10,000. I find that so I, uh, my front door and go get I, need, I basically learn whatever I need like, to learn to accomplish really? an objective. Um, and uh, I think actually most people could do this. Hey, but well, they, they often I'm a YouTuber. I mean, you can see the camera. Um, so, feel uh, capable of more than they you. think. Um, but um, I mean, what, I, what I found is I'm if you simply doing. read a lot of books and talk to people, you can learn almost anything. The, the guy was happy, Quid was happy. I was happy and um, what did so well. I literally took that money and I did another one. I, I don't really think of uh, these things as all that audacious. So uh, I have this idea. If they I seem this brand like money, uh, I natural things to do. Video, that video will do well. And then I take the money from that video and I give away the next video. And that video will do well. And kind of like create this. It's sort of a, more of a long term like, optimization rather than a short term one. To um, allow me to help people. And yeah, I just, um, out. I, like, I think I just cracked but not that I think you know everyone should be and doing these things, but someone needs to do them. So you have you know, the, so if I see that well, somebody is not doing this, and maybe I could be helpful, uh, then 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 I try to do something. Like that. But like, you know, my goal is like try to do useful things. Try to maximize the probability the future is good. Uh, what it is, what I do know is I like to help people. Something you look forward to. I like helping people because it just makes me you know, happy. And it makes uh, me feel good. I you know, like Tesla, we like trying to make like things that people love. It. You know, it's like, me, nothing is like more how many things do you buy someone that someone you really like love that really give you joy? It's so rare. So rare. I wish there were more things.